Hey guys, so I honestly like haven't filled in a whole like two weeks and um, I haven't put up a video for at least a week and a half. Um, I got over Hurricane Sandy. I live on the East Coast and I know there was a whole bunch of storms in the Midwest, the East Coast, a whole bunch of things like that. So I hope all of my subscribers and viewers are safe and hopefully everything is going well. Um, but... Other than that, I couldn't post videos because um, our house has a lot of trees around it, and they're very tall. So the way that they bend um, during really big wind storms or just big storms overall, like hurricanes, um, it actually does have quite a good chance of tipping over. And just because they're really close to our house, um, my dad actually over the ship um, in the middle of the ocean made us like reservations for hotels. So that was very nice of him. So we stayed in the hotel and the Wi-Fi wouldn't work so I couldn't upload a video, obviously. Um, my dad also comes home in two days so I might not be filming for a little bit after this just to have some more family time with him. But um, anyways, that's just a quick update in my social and like personal life. Um, but now I'm doing my October favorites so without further ado, that fell. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my two, like, body and hair products. Um, this one I featured in my haul video. This was the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Spray. And I know it looks like I haven't used a lot of it, but I spray it on my body almost every day. And it just smells like cinnamon and, like, sweet sugar cookies and pumpkins and... It just reminds me of fall a lot, and it's really warm and cozy, so I absolutely love this. The next one is a die-hard favorite for me. Everyone needs to go check this out. This is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine anti Fur Serum. I use this practically every night, a pump and a half, maybe two pumps sometimes, because I have such thick hair. This gets rid of all my frizz, even if I let it air dry overnight. As you can see, this is my hair naturally. Um, and I use just a little bit of this, and there's, like, absolutely no frizz. It's, like, almost, like, straight. It's just naturally, um, non-frizzy without, with using this. Without it, it's, like, all puffy and crinkly and ugly. But this is a miracle worker, and as you can see, I've put this in the last, like, three favorites videos. Next, I actually have a nail polish favorite. And this is one of my newer nail polishes. Uh, I'm technically only going to get Essie because Essie is my favorite nail polish brand. I have like seven polishes from them. This one's called Good as Gold. And I got this for my Halloween costume, which was actually switched to a person going to a masquerade because I thought it would be too cold to be a goddess. But this still worked out because um, I can't show you my mask because it's up right now. But... I have this on my toes and it's chipping a little bit on my fingers, but it's really, really pretty and it's more of like a lighter color for fall. Um, next on to my beauty favorites. This I actually got yesterday, but I thought I would mention it in this video. This is a NARS concealer and this one's called Biscuit. And it's a tad bit too dark for me because I wanted a winter color and I'm already in my winter skin tone. I'm a lot lighter now. So this is basically going to be my winter concealer along with the Maybelline Fit Me. But I've been using this um, for the past two or three days. And um, yeah, I actually really, really like it. It's really sheer and sometimes it can go off a little flaky or cakey. So you do have to be careful and more like pat it in and rub it in but it is a nice sheer creamy concealer which is just what I need because I don't need too much coverage. The other thing I've been using with that concealer is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. This one is in beige medium and this is just a mattifying powder. This one doesn't look cakey at all on the skin and um, it actually comes with a powder puff and a mirror. Um, which is nice and handy dandy. Uh, but yeah, I find myself reaching more for this just because I'm not going to wear a foundation or tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to wear a little bit of a coverage powder. <coughs> Next is my US Lip Balm and Strawberry Sorbet. I have been wearing this like every single day 
three times a day. I wear it all the time. It's my holy grail lip balm. And I just love the color pink and I love the way it smells. Next are some cheap products from this Benefit Go Trophy Coral set. Um, so this basically comes with the Coralista lip gloss, the Coralista blush, and these two um, cream cheek products, uh, or liquid cheek products, and I've been using the liquid cheek products the most. This is Cha Cha Tint, and I'm really good with orangey coral colors on my cheeks, and this is exactly what it is. It's got a brush tip ac applicator, and I looked it up on Sephora. I actually got this as a gift, but these bottles are about a third of the regular size. So if you get these in the mini sets, um, but they're like not the really, really tiny size, but they're like this size, it's actually a really good deal. Next is the High Beam, which as you can tell I've used a little bit of. Um, I love this as a highlighter. I think dotting it on. Um, this makes it a lot more dewy looking and more, more natural looking because it doesn't have glitter. It has a little bit of pearl. Um, and I absolutely love Benefit um, products. I really love the Coralista blush also. I haven't been using it as much, but it just gives a sheer overlay of coral over that cheek tint. Next, I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now, you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of Urban Decay Primer Potion, but since I'm only wearing a little bit of eyeshadow, just a little dot of this on my eyelids keeps it staying on. It can crease if you use really frosty eyeshadows, but for me, using a tiny bit of matte eyeshadow and this holds it together perfectly. Uh, the next eyeshadows that I've been using are from two palettes. This one's the Naked Palette by Urban Decay and the 88 um, Neutral Eye Palette from Coastal, not Coastal Sense, BH Cosmetics. So these I've been using a whole bunch of different colors. I really like Naked, Buck, Half Baked, and where'd it go? Oh, Toasted. Um, I've also really been liking Virgin. Um, I'm more of like a matte girl in the fall, but I still want a little bit of a fat and satin finish. So usually I'll just take a little bit of virgin and then a little bit of buck, put it all over the lid and blend it out. And it basically gives a uh, satiny, little bit of shimmery, brownish caramel color and I really like it. And then in this palette I've been using a caramel color and a white color. Okay! Sorry, my mom is telling me to do something. I'm trying to find it because there's so many colors in here. Okay, I think I found it. So, I've actually been using these two colors for the past week. This is like a shimmery beige color and this is like an orangish, um, I'd say a caramely pumpkin color. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, as you can see, there's a pumpkin orange down there, but... I wouldn't use that every day, but I really like this palette just because it's got shimmery, satiny colors, just like I explained of the combination in the Naked palette. Um, the last two or three eye products I have is this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I got this for just the sake of having liquid eyeliner, and let's go ahead and put this stuff back. And then I've been really loving these two mascaras. This is the Voluminous Million Lashes and the Great Lash by Maybelline and L'Oreal. And I really love these because they volumize my lashes and make them just look so long and so full. And the last products are lip products. So I've got the Clinique Long Last Glossware in Fireberry, which I'm actually wearing, but it doesn't last that long, to be honest. It's already worn off. Next is this Rimmel Stay Glossy in Unlimited Gold. It is a really pigmented gold color, and I love the applicator. It's so much different. But I really love this color, and I definitely want to get more of these. The Winter Candy Apple Lip Gloss by Bath & Body Works is great because it smells good, it tastes good, and it gives a nice shine. And I use that with the Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait. 
And this is just a really nice color that's peachy and pinky, but it gives more color to your lips, which I really like. So yeah, that was my October favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you again soon. Get me to 50, and we'll do a Bath and Body Works collection. So yeah, love you guys. Bye.